banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I have a very special review for you today because I have not one but two versions of the same game on the NES. It's Ms. Pac-Man's, or Ms. Pac-Men, if you will. If you watch this show, odds are that you've played Ms. Pac-Man at least once. The 1982 arcade game is one of the most popular games of all time and one of my personal favorites. Here I am playing it on my Multicade, good old school arcade Ms. Pac-Man, but is it any good on the Nintendo Entertainment System? Well, let's find out, but before we do, we should figure out which version of Ms. Pac-Man to play because she was released twice. Once by Tengen or Atari, and again by Namco, and if you were to judge a book by its cover, you'd probably say the Namco version is better, and you would be wrong. Released in 1993, this is far from a horrible version of Ms. Pac-Man, but it's just not that good either. It's slow, it sounds terrible, and even on the hard setting, the ghost movement patterns are all screwed up and they don't even know what they're doing. At least it fills the screen, but that's the only thing it has going for it considering there's a superior version available. The whole game feels like a giant half-assed attempt to cash in on the popularity of Ms. Pac-Man. At least, in this version they give us something special, like the Great Pumpkin. That thing is most definitely a pumpkin. Now, I'm pretty particular about my controls when playing Ms. Pac-Man. I think it requires a good joystick for fast movements. And even though you can play this on the NES Advantage, I'm trying it out with the standard old D-pad, which which I don't really care for, to be honest. My conclusion here is pretty obvious. Just pass on this version of Ms. Pac-Man and pick up the Tengen version if you're looking to play Ms. Pac-Man on your NES. The Tengen game cartridge may look cheaper on the outside, but it's the superior version by far where we get the actual arcade intro screen here, followed by numerous options to make your Ms. Pac-Man experience the best that it can be. The speed is more faithful to the original, and if you're used to playing Ms. Pac-Man on a faster speed arcade machine, you can never go back to the slow one again. The game looks a lot better, the sound effects are certainly a great improvement, and as you can see, they've tried to recreate the vertical aspect ratio of the screen. Even though it's obviously not perfect, I don't really care for these scrolling, but what are you going to do? They also give you an option to fill the screen with the maze and even have different mazes. And even though I'm playing this with a D-pad, which I don't like, the controls feel better, so the whole game just plays better. There's no question, if you want to play Ms. Pac-Man on the NES, you get this. You won't be disappointed. If you're a younger viewer that has never played Ms. Pac-Man, well, it's always a great time for Ms. Pac-Man and it's available on just about everything these days. New game systems, old game systems, and it's one of the arcade machines you're actually likely to find these days in restaurants and bars. Ms. Pac-Man is fast and ferocious, there's a lot of strategy required, but it just never gets old. It's an amazing game. And I'm glad to see a good version on the Nintendo Entertainment System. So a big classic game room shout out and thank you to Mark from Brooklyn, New York for sending both of these to the show. If you can't find a Ms. Pac-Man machine nearby, you may as well enjoy it on your NES, as long as it's, it's the Tengen version, not the other one.